What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. The last two weeks for Xbox specifically, because Microsoft as a company, as a corporation is actually great. They, you know, they're completely fine. Microsoft. But the Xbox division within Microsoft has probably had like the worst one of the worst two weeks that a division within a company could possibly have. Like from PR to financials to your products, bad. What's happened to it, and, and the Activision deal specifically, of course, impacted Microsoft overall, but it's really specifically looked bad on the Xbox division. And what's happened in the last two weeks from the quarterly reports being horrible for the Xbox division, the ABK deal being blocked, to now Redfall, a very important, high-profile game that was supposed to start changing the narrative. It was supposed to be a part of changing the narrative about Xbox being able to, uh, Xbox being unable to uh, consistently deliver AAA quality games, but that narrative remains that they are unable to, they are inept, and they just are not qualified. These last two weeks for them might rival the PlayStation hack two generations ago where their network was hacked and, and it was down for a month and uh, two, uh, they released a, an online game, SOCOM 4 at the time, and, and even though that game was trash anyway and it was probably going to die, uh, the hack expedited it. And then I believe it was at E3, PlayStation had to pretty much give a, a huge apology uh, to, um, you know, to, to the public and to the gamers. It was an embarrassing time for them. And this might rival that these last two weeks. It, it, it might rival that. It might be just as bad. I don't know if it's worse. I don't know if it's it's, it's bad. And it's 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 tragic. And, you know, I'm and this is like fanboyism aside, like I'm trying to like really think about it and have a real conversation. Like, you know, we always point fingers and talk about like who is to act, who actually is to blame for this type for this stuff. Right. Who is the real culprit? Who is the real criminal here? Um, and I, I don't think it's necessarily one person solely, but I think some, somebody is, does like, should or should hold the majority of the blame. So Phil Spencer is the executive vice president um, of gaming at Microsoft. If I have his title correct, that might be a little, I'm not sure if I have his title correct. He, he's held a lot of positions at, at, uh, at, at, at Microsoft in the gaming division. You know, he's really rose through the ranks. I believe that's his proper current title, executive vice president of gaming at Microsoft. Uh, Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. And Matt Booty is the head of Xbox Studios. So Matt Booty is Phil Spencer's direct report. So he reports uh, into uh, Matt Booty reports to Phil Spencer. Phil Spencer reports to Satya Nadella. So to put it very simply and plainly, and this is obviously an oversimplification of it, Phil Spencer's job is to come up with the strategy for the Xbox gaming division. Obviously, it's much more than that, but that's the, that's the very simple way of putting it. Matt Booty's job is to execute Phil Spencer's strategy and to oversee all first-party output games for Microsoft and Xbox. So, and, and I'm, I'm really trying to think about, I'm like, who really should get the blame for this, right? You know, a lot of people say it should always go to the top, which is technically Phil Spencer. Some, some could say Satya Nadella, but he doesn't have like a direct hand on the decisions made for, for Xbox. Um, even though he's above Phil Spencer, we know like Phil Spencer is like the top. But I, I actually kind of believe, even though blame is to be shared between both of them, I actually believe it's a little bit more Matt Booty than Phil Spencer at this point. 
Because if we, if if I equate it, if it's comparable to uh, the the organization chart and how it works at PlayStation, for example, Herman Hulst is the head of PlayStation First Party Studios, and he, you know, uh, he reports to Jim Ryan. Jim, I don't think there's anybody in between them. I think he actually directly reports to Jim Ryan. Um, and Shuhei Yoshida actually used to uh, have have uh, Herman Hulst's position until whatever he he started, uh, you know, kind of focusing on indies and he moved to another position for whatever reason that wasn't really divulged. But it's Herman Hulst. And, and Jim Ryan and Jim Ryan is like the boss boss. We know he makes like the top level decisions and all and all that stuff for PlayStation. Um, and I try and I think about it. I'm like, if PlayStation first party output started to really decline, who would I really blame? I would blame Herman Hulse based on the descriptions of the job. Because. If it, like I said, if it works the same way it does at PlayStation and Microsoft, play Herman Holt's job, and it's been, it's been described this way many times. Um, you know, even Shuhei's, you know, like I said, Shuhei had it before. Their job is to literally oversee all the games that all the first party studios are working on, and make sure these games are up to par and where exactly they should be. So you see everything and you have to be that executive that says, hey, this game is not cutting it at this point in in our timeline, at this point in our scheduling. This is not looking good or you need to improve this. Jim, we already know Jim Ryan is not a gamer. Right. So I don't even think Jim Ryan could actually do the job that Herman Hulse does or that Shuhei does. He's, you know, more of the I guess they call him the bean counters. He's the money guy. But you, in this position, you need somebody who actually knows about the games and, and cares about the games, you know, technically, you know, you know how, how they look and how they play all, all that stuff. You need a, that's that's one. This is one of the positions um, I would say you actually need somebody who passionately cares about the art of creating a game. And you have to be the one to be very blunt. You have to be truthful. You have to, you know, be sometimes you got to be the bad guy to to say, yo, this game looks like absolute shit. This game looks like garbage. No, this is not okay. We are not, we're we're not releasing this game in this in this condition. This this is not up to our standard. This is not up to the to the quality of what we deliver and what our uh, consumers expect of us. Making those type of executive decisions. That's my understanding of what that position is that Herman Hulse c- currently holds and what uh, Matt Booty currently holds. So that leads me to believe Matt Booty ain't doing his job. That man is not doing his job because I don't know and you know there 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 could be uh extra circumstances um that possibly you know that go over Matt Booty's head that kind of supersede him that he's not in control of when it comes to when it when it comes to like making some of these decisions but if outside of absolutely knowing that i got to lay the blame at his feet because i don't know how you allow Redfall to be released like that. Redfall came out, is currently at like a 63 on Metacritic. Uh, how do you release, how do you allow that game to be released in that condition? How? How do you allow that game to progress how it did? It's not like they, it's not like developers create these games, somebody takes a look at it at the very beginning and then just pops up at the very end of development and is like, okay, let me see the final version of the game. The last time I saw it was when you first started. No, there's supposed to be intervals, interval periods of where you review the progress of the game. So how did it get to this? It's, it's the management. This is why the management in the executive of Xbox is always being like criticized and scrutinized because the developers are going to do their job, but 
you you you're the handler. You are you are the handler. And it's like, bro, I I just and I'm not acting, I'm not trying to act like I'm that like I know that deep inner workings of how all these gaming studios work, but just using Occam's razor, you know, the the simplest um explanation is the, is the right one. Just from top level, yeah, it looks like it's it's Matt Booty. And Phil Spencer is like I said Phil Spencer is is still guilty, but somebody, the person who is overseeing these games who that these games that are releasing from Xbox that continue to be inconsistent, that continue to be mediocre, and no, nobody's saying that. And I'm not even talking to like Xbox dudes. This is just like just talking at this point because I've given up on Xbox dudes. Nobody's saying that Xbox first party studios never in the last 10 years has released a decent or good game. It is about consistency. That is the problem. That, like, everything PlayStation puts out isn't absolutely amazing. No, nobody thinks that. But there's a certain standard that they expect to stay at and stay above. And typically they do that. Do they have some games that drop below the bar once in a while? Absolutely. That's not the problem. The problem is the bar with Xbox is down here, and it's a surprise if you land up here. This is not common. This is not where y'all usually are at. You're usually here, and we're surprised when you get here. You should be here, and we're surprised when you get here. That's the issue. There's no, well, I can't say there's no consistency. The consistency is just at a bad, is at a bad place. That's the problem. It's bad, it's, it's bad consistency at mediocrity. N nobody hits 100% of the time. But y'all are just bad too often, mediocre too often, at just average too often, mid too often. That's your, that's, where, that's just where you live. That's where you reside. That's, that's your commonality just being average and um there's just not a a certain level of uh quality that they are that they are living up to um and that's why they have their reputation and i don't understand people who act like they don't understand um why they have this reputation or why people look at the xbox division the way the way they do this this is why no it, yeah you had yeah hi-fi rush existed at the, be at the beginning of this year Good game. I didn't like it, but, you know, I'm not going to deny by all accounts it seems to be a, a good game. But can you do two of those in a row? Can you do three of those in a row? That's the question, and that's the problem. Can you go an entire year with constantly releasing good games? Or is it going to be a one-off every single time, and then it's just going to be a bunch of mediocre stuff, and then you need one game to carry the cross of the other mediocre game sins so now it's once again up to one game to be the messiah to take take the fans of xbox to the promised land because that's that's lit that's where that's the position where where we're at now where starfield has to be the game to literally like do everything just carry the team and honestly if it wasn't for Forza, Microsoft and Xbox probably wouldn't have anything consistently that, that, that comes out in, in good favor for them. Like Forza is kind of like, Forza is like that game that rocks Xbox fans to sleep every time they get mediocre shit, like continuously. Forza comes and resets them, right? It's like they get a factory reset every time that Forza comes along. And they completely forget about all the other garbage that came out before Forza. So Forza is like that great factory reset. It's like the Neuralizer from um, um, uh, Men in Black just comes and erases all their memory. And they forgot everything that happened before. It's a Neuralizer. Um, and then they reset. And then they release something maybe decent. Um, and then a whole bunch of mediocre trash. 
and then it's up to one game to save them again, and it never usually does. So it's just this vicious, this vicious and unhealthy cycle, a very vicious, unhealthy, and toxic cycle. Y'all are in a very unhealthy, toxic relationship with Xbox and the executives. And that's sad. So, um, but yeah, I, I really think that uh, Matt Booty, Phil Spencer need to be held accountable for their actions or inactions. Um, and uh, some, for, for, the, for, the, for the, the week, the two weeks they had, this is the type of stuff that heads will roll for. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I said, put the fanboy stuff aside. Like, that's the type of, like, w- PR, bad PR and, and bad incidents that happen in a company that will cause change and, and heads to roll and real, like, turnover and, and major changes. That's the type of stuff that happens. So if that doesn't happen, like, it, it's a problem. It should happen. Major fuck-ups uh, require major, major changes, so... Those are my thoughts. Um, yesterday was, you know, a very crazy day on Twitter, uh, you know, with Red Red for the result of Redfall. And um, it's 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 kind of it's it's kind of tiring because it's like it's. Like, how many times uh, is this like kind of going to happen? Like I said, this vicious cycle, like people are going to be like, oh, yeah, it's terrible. And then people go right back to uh, still playing xbox and still trusting and believing in the next game it's like bro like but like i said i've kind of given up on xbox fans at this point and yeah like i i believed in start in 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 redfall because every once and and all the people who acting like redfall never looked good y'all are lying those first two trailers definitely looked decent not saying it was anything amazing but it looked like a a good game those first two trailers people like oh it always looked bad man stop it relax it's okay um yeah every once in a while even i like it's like every three four years xbox will show one game and i'm like you know what that's gonna be a good game from xbox and it's usually not so even though i put my my faith in xbox twice a decade i still be wrong twice a decade crazy so uh yeah, um follow me on Twitter. Uh hit the like button. Uh and uh let me know what y'all think in the comment section. All right. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.